What's up guys, Sal here. So, South Korean financial news site The Bell has a stellar track record when it comes to revealing Samsung's unannounced plans. And now, according to a new report, the Galaxy S10 bears the codename Beyond internally at Samsung. Samsung tends to use code names that describe its goals for upcoming phones. The S8 was codenamed Dream and the S9 was named Star. The codename Beyond is fitting for Samsung's 10th anniversary phone as the company will certainly be aiming to go beyond what it already has achieved in the flagship smartphone market and reach new heights. It might also signify the company's intentions to go beyond what's possible and deliver a truly revolutionary device. As far as features go, the S10 will get a lot of new upgrades, including the new processors, which are going to be built on 7 nanometer process, which is a huge upgrade compared to the current 10 nanometer processors. It will also get the in display fingerprint scanner. So it's still unclear if the Galaxy Note 9 or the S10 will be the first in Samsung's lineup to include this technology. But it likely depends on how soon Samsung can overcome its current manufacturing issues with this novel new tech. Also, it's gonna get 3D sensors, which are going to improve the facial unlocking and AR emojis by a lot. Though the Bell reports that Samsung is finding it hard to mass produce the components, but there's still almost a year left for the launch. So I hope they figure this out. And finally, Samsung will get rid of the bottom bezel and aiming to go beyond 90% screen to body ratio, which perfectly goes in line with the code name beyond that they have assigned for the device. Despite reports of Samsung not doing well in China and India, the two biggest smartphone markets in the world, Samsung still emerged the number one smartphone maker by a huge margin. Samsung shipped 78 million smartphones globally in the first quarter of 2018. Apple came in second by shipping 52 million units. Huawei, Xiaomi and Oppo occupied the next three positions respectively. Xiaomi made the most gains, which saw its market share grow 101% albeit from a relatively small base. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.